So as we're all aware, Scream 7 is happening. Following the success of Scream 6, it was inevitable that another movie was going to be in the works. But where could the story go? What kind of plot could the movie follow? And what characters should return? Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask. Today we're going to be discussing what the plot could be for Scream 7 based on my opinion. Which isn't much, I know, but I thought I'd give my views on it. Before I get started, I just wanted to say that new Scream 7 director, Christopher Landon, followed me over on Twitter and we've exchanged a couple of messages and I'm just blown away by it. You know, he seems like someone who is very switched on on what fans want. So I think this movie is in safe hands. So, first of all, let me just say, I'm not saying that my ideas have to happen. After all, this is just my opinion. But it's easy to get overwhelmed with requests from fans when it comes to these movies. So first thing I want to touch on, the core four still need to be central focus in seven. I know some may not like this, but if five and six has set up these new characters just to have legacy characters move and swarm into the storyline, it may just feel disingenuous right now. There's room for them, but the core four still need to be the driving factor of this movie. With Sam Carpenter, she's our new star of these particular movies, so how could she be handled following the climax of Six? Surprisingly enough, and this may be unpopular, I don't want them to make her dark and brooding, despite Melissa Barrera's desire to explore mental health in a Scream movie. Personally, I think her situation with Billy Loomis being her dad has been presented in several stages so far. The fifth movie be in denial in a big way. After all, we're presented to Sam during this stage of her not telling anyone that Billy was her dad. Then in Scream 6, we have this combination of anger, depression, and bargaining. All three were presented in her frustration at her sister Tara for not dealing with their ordeal. Then we have depression with how she is actively seeking therapy to try and understand what exactly she's feeling. You know, she's very confused and feeling just generally down about what happened. And then bargaining was also taking place during her frustration with Tara also. You know, that kind of, Tara needs to deal with this first, then I will. So the only natural way her story can go now is acceptance, which I think could result in Sam wanting to know more about Billy himself, maybe even Stu as his accomplice. After all, what does she truly know about him, aside from what's been said through Stab? Which is where I think the plot for Seven could head. She could be actively wanting to know more about him, which could introduce characters like Christina Carpenter, who could help her understand what he was like and why she fell for him in the first place. The whole thing could be like a lesson in the Loomis family history. You know, it's been alluded to already with the mention of Sam's family, you know, being similar to Nancy Loomis and so on. An exploration of Billy could also lead to some flashbacks, say, during the time of Scream 1996, maybe involving Stu or Christina Carpenter's relationship with him. And this could also lead to Sydney's involvement. Rather than repeating the previous events of having her show up to help, maybe she could help Sam with the history of Billy because she was with Billy for some time. And so she knew him quite well. Well, she believes she knew him quite well, but I think she might be aware of his family life better than most. And who better could track down vital information on perhaps living relatives of the Loomis family than Gail Weathers? But what about Ghostface? Well, perhaps Sam's quest to learn about her father may stir something up. Something connected to the past. Something that, as Randy said, could link back to the original 1996 movie and be alluded to in the 2020 movie also. This Ghostface could be hunting Sam and the core four as they continue to discover things from the past that they may not want exposing. Add some humour, but honestly, I did like the darkness presented in Scream 6, but blend the two. Don't make it too comedic like Scream 3, just create the perfect combination of horror, darkness and comedy. Continue the iconic death scenes and chase scenes, I think 6 did that perfectly personally, but I think this could work as a way to conclude the Carpenter sisters' stories, but more importantly, conclude Sam's self-discovery, which I feel has been presented in Scream 5 and 6 so far, and is a driving factor 
of these new movies. Overall, this is what I think could work for Seven, or what should be done for Scream 7. But what would you guys like to see? Share your opinions below. As usual, don't forget to like, share, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more Scream content, and I will see you guys in the next video.